How you doing? This is Sean O'Brien again with 2A Guys and Gear, and this on this video we're going to be installing the trigger adjustment screw. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you step by step how to take out your standard AR15 grip screw, and we're going to put in the new modified uh, grip screw that has a set screw in the center of it. So we bought these uh, from a guy in Maryland, Western Maryland. I, I guess he makes them out of his house or something like that because they're only $15 a piece and they are $3 shipping versus the ones I've seen online that are about $40 a piece. So and these things are really nice. It only takes a couple minutes to install and what they do is they actually take out all of the creep out of your trigger so and you can adjust it to wherever you want. So and it's a really nice uh, quick improvement for your gun and we actually also installed one on the PSE TAC Elite that we did a review on a few weeks ago. Uh, right. It's the AR-15 style crossbow and it worked like a champ on that. So that, the trigger on that was horrible and this solved all of its problems. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's get the camera switched around and we'll show you guys how to install this. Alright, this is the one we're going to install and this is an, <clears throat> a factory one. If you, I don't know if you can zoom in on that and get a good look at it. Also, when you order them, I would order the extra long Allen because you're definitely going to need it, um, unless you have one. If you have one, you'll save a couple bucks. But they're I think they're only a couple bucks on their website, aren't they? Yep. Yep, and their website, I forgot to mention it earlier, it's ar15triggeradjusters.com. They've got everything you want. The guy ships it out pretty quick, so. Yeah, we'll post a link Yep. on there a couple times. All right, so I guess I got to remove the old one. So this is pretty standard. We're just uh, removing this, the the screw, pop the grip off. Some are flathead, some are 316s Allen's. This just happens to be a 316 Allen, which is nice because that's what the new adjuster is as well. Grip doesn't have to come off, does it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Make sure you don't lose your spring. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the grip off. Didn't lose the spring. Put some Loctite. We're just using the uh, the light duty Loctite. So no sense in using anything crazy with it. Just enough that it doesn't budge with the recoil. And what we're going to do is draw that screw all the way back down into the main screw. Pop it back in there. And then put your grip back on just as as normal. So now once that's snugged up, we're going to flip the uh, flip the safety selector over to safe. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the long Allen wrench and we're going to adjust the small set screw. We're going to adjust it all the way down until it stops. So depending on your gun or your crossbow, whatever the case may be, it may... All right, it stopped. It stopped. Okay, yeah, when we did the PSE TAC-90, it was real long-winded because there's so much creep in it. But since this one doesn't have much creep, it's not bad. 
So now when you when you put that thing all that set screw all the way down and it's in the safety position, your safety selector should not move. It's actually going to be stuck. Is that the case? Yeah, it's okay. It's stuck. So now, now that we're stuck, what we're going to do is we're going to back that Allen wrench off just a hair. Just bump it back, and now try your safety selector. Yep, it's yeah. nice and smooth. All right. So now, once you've done that, that's it. it it's installed and you're ready to go. Now, keep in mind. You have Loctite on that, so you need to let that sit up for a little while. Um, but otherwise, it's finished. Um, and if you want to adjust it more or less, you can. But if you're going to do it, now's the time to do it before your Loctite sets up. Let me try it. That's Better? A big difference, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how much of a difference it makes. adjust it even more or is it just one you can adjust it but you have to do it before the loctite sets up so if you want to tweak it some now and adjust the time. it would be to run it in yeah run it in so it tightens up a little bit more but if you run it in too far it's gonna prevent the safety from engaging yep that's too far now no, back it off just a hair ah. it's still too far Still too far. Yeah, it's a fine line from where it's it's uh, works or doesn't work. But for five minutes and eighteen dollars, it's a big difference. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot tighter. Yeah, well, that was easy. Even yeah. a caveman can do it. <laughs> Yep, just like that, you're finished. Now that doesn't change the pull, just takes out all the creep. Correct, yeah, the length of pull will stay the same. It's just taking out the creep. So the trigger on this one was actually pretty good, but it did have some creep, which is now gone. Yeah, I think for 18 bucks. Yeah, you can't beat that. No, I, I think you just get one for every AR you own. Yeah, that's a big difference. It's even tighter when it's there's no right no play when it's in safe. Before yep. there was a little bit of play. It's gone completely. No already. That was uh a quick and easy one and uh, we'll post the link to the site down below I've been on the site and um, it would be best if you bought one and used them for all your screws but uh, unless you can find or have one of those real long Allen's um, I don't think you could do it without it unless you had a long one but alrighty well that's it for now and uh, if you like us please subscribe